The Ministry of Finance of Macroland asked us to analyze the contributors to the projected increase in the public debt ratio of the country between 2019 and 2025. To that end, we will use our Macroland DDT file, DDT1. We know that the output baseline worksheet presents the baseline debt projections. First note in the top table that the public debt ratio is projected to increase from 50% of GDP in 2019 to 60.6% .6 of GDP in 2025. This implies a cumulative increase in the debt ratio of 10.6% of GDP. What explains this debt increase? The bottom table and figure in the output baseline worksheet present the contributions to changes in public debt. The last column of the table reports the contributions to the cumulative change in the debt ratio between 2019 and 2025. We can see that the 10.6% of GDP cumulative change of the public debt ratio is the sum of the following individual contributions. The primary deficit contributed to an increase of 5% of GDP. The real interest rate contributed to an increase of 9.4% of GDP. Economic growth contributed to a decline of 14.6% of GDP. That is why it appears with a negative sign in the table. The exchange rate contributed to an increase of 4.4% of GDP. Other identified debt creating flows contributed to an increase of 6% of GDP. The stock flow adjustment due to intra year exchange rate fluctuations contributed to an increase of 0.4% of GDP. Thus, the greatest positive contributor to the increase in the public debt ratio of Macroland between 2019 and 2025 is the real interest rate with a contribution of 9.4% of GDP. Mm -hmm.